During his ADS heyday, he was the world's highest paid entertainer and known as America's Dad for his role on The Cosby Show. Decades later, Cosby's net worth was still estimated to be $400 million. Cosby, now 80, could see his fortune reduced to next to nothing following Thursday's verdict, where he was found guilty of three counts of aggravated indecent assault. He left court after posting $1 million bond, but faces a maximum of 30 years in state prison along with an additional $75,000 in fines and that's just for this case. In the wake of Thursday's criminal conviction, Cosby continued to face fallout as universities like Temple University revoked his honorary degree and businesses looked to distance themselves from the disgraced comedian. The Cosby Show reruns were also taken off the air, cutting a key source of royalty income for Cosby. And there are already signs that despite his massive fortune, Cosby's legal battles are catching up with him last fall, he reportedly tried to get a loan to cover his mounting legal bills. Cosby's conviction on three felony counts of aggravated indecent assault marks the latest low point for one of the biggest and richest stars of the 1980s. In 1985, People reported Cosby was earning $1.1 million per year for his hit TV show, The Cosby Show, plus millions more for stand-up performances in Las Vegas and serving as a spokesman for brands like Coca-Cola and Jell-O 30 years ago, Forbes crowned Cosby as the world's highest paid entertainer after he earned a total of $84 million in 1986 and 1987 beating out other ADS performers like Sylvester Stallone, $74 million and Bruce Springsteen, $56 million. Cosby even made more than America's highest-paid corporate executive, General Motors Lee Iacocca, who earned $21 million over that time span. In 1988, syndication rights for reruns of The Cosby Show sold for a record high $4 million per half-hour episode, which was nearly three times as high as any other show at the time. Of the $500 million sale, $166 million, over $350 million in today's dollars, went directly to Cosby. Forbes estimated in 2017 that the Cosby show reruns had generated $1.5 billion over the prior two decades. Now, the TV show has been dropped by all networks, and a planned Netflix special and concert tour featuring Cosby have both been cancelled, virtually cutting off all of Cosby's income streams. Lawyers say juries often determine punitive damages not just based on the actions themselves which are horrible on their own in Cosby's case but also factor in the wealth of the accused. We know that Cosby has already made at least one multi-million dollar payment to settle a civil lawsuit. During Cosby's criminal trial, the prosecutor revealed that Cosby had paid a previously undisclosed sum of $3.4 million to Andrea Constand in 2006 to settle a civil suit alleging he sexually assaulted her.